James Owen Milford, here we are, finally becoming one. You my king and I your queen. Standing here at the altar of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. At a beautiful castle on a perfect day, a wedding only orchestrated by Jesus. This is amazing. I've prayed for you, I've cried for you, and I've begged for you, never knowing that through all the pain, the sorrow, and the heartache that I have been through, God was leading me right to you. It all makes sense now. Nikita, it's difficult to express into words just how much I truly adore you, how much I cherish you, and cherish having you in my life every day, and how much I absolutely, wholeheartedly, and completely love you. I mean, I genuinely am still in awe of you, the woman you've become, the selfless mother you are, to your daughter as well as mine. To be honest, I still can't believe you're gonna allow me, of all people, to be your husband, so I'm honored, I'm honored by you, and I'm honored and humbled by God for you. I don't think I could have even prayed for someone as incredible as you are. Everything I desire in a woman, and then some. You're hilarious, modest, proactive, stunningly gorgeous, and that's before putting on makeup. You have a humble heart, strong convictions, and most of all, you love Jesus. You know my imperfection, I thought I learned my lesson, that I'd never be loved by someone like you. You've changed up my direction, but sometimes I still question how I was worth the love of someone like you. If I had to pick two words to describe my daughter Nikita, it would be strong-willed from birth. <laughs> That's four words, but she has been a light to my life. I am more than happy to bless you and your decision to marry James, and I speak and pray blessings on you and your life with James. When you first came into our lives back in Germany, I never anticipated this. I just, I didn't know. And that I didn't never realize that you would be a big part of this family at that time. I, just, I feel very blessed that you both reconnected. And I'm, I, I just love you both. Nikita's been in my life since I was a little girl, and at that time, she was my best friend, Adrian's big sister, but as time has gone on, she grew to be my sister, both in life and in Christ. And it's such a beautiful testimony of how I've been blessed enough to stand as a witness to see your transformation from a single mom to the Proverbs 31 wife that we all just witnessed her become. And I remember years before her reunication with James, as you all know, they knew each other in Germany, but um, years prior to them reconnecting, she and I would pray together for a life that would reflect Jesus and that she would find that special person who checks every box. And when I tell you that James matches every single bit of our prayers that we would pray, it still blows my mind. Nikita, I promise to nurture you. I promise to nurture that love and protect that love until the day I die. I promise to give you all of me for as long as I am alive. I promise to remind you how much I love you with my words and more importantly with my actions. How else is love manifested if not by action and what is love if not sacrifice? So from this day until my last, I vow to always do my best to try and love you the way Jesus calls me to to love you the way he loves us. You, James, are all that I desire in a man. You, my love, are the full package, wrapped and delivered straight from heaven. Our story is beautiful. Our union is blessed. And our love is real. And, that, and, that, and, and the fact 
fact that you are so handsome is an added bonus. <laughs> what more could a woman ask for? So sign me up. I am wholeheartedly and unconditionally willing and ready to be your wife and to have you as my husband. Here we are today. These mother lovers, they flew a black man out here to Utah to give the best man speech, and I'm honored to give it. I'm truly glad to see that you have found happiness, Moford. Just like we were, just like when we first met in Fort Huachuca, our patch had a phoenix on it. And just like that phoenix, you have been through heartache and pain. Through war, you saw just how ugly mankind can be to one another. I remember you telling me one day that you felt like that you was a bird that had its wings clipped. But just like the desert phoenix, you have, wrote, you have risen up again and found love and found love again. And through meeting all of you, I have witnessed how truly lovely mankind could be to one another. When I became friends with her in the beginning, I really thought that James was just being friendly, you know, because he had to. Oh, here we go, another girlfriend. Hi. Okay. But he actually became a true friend to me who confided in me and listened to me and supported me. Both Nikita and James have witnessed me in my darkest times and in the times where I shined bright. And I want to make this very clear that they never let me struggle or succeed in silence. Both of them supported me in all stages of my life and I could always feel uplifted in any moment and I knew that they had my back. Nikita, it's hard to put into words how I feel about you and how much you mean to me. I really believe that you deserve a love that God gave you, simply because of your intense and deep-rooted love for others. And to see you and James be in real love, I know for sure that was only God's doing. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, you've always been that annoying big sister who's super opinionated, <laughs> but there's not a thing that I would change about you and you are wonderfully and fearfully made. I love your aliveness and your adventurous spirit, and I can always count on you for a new experience when I'm with you, but really it's just your amazing company. I'm so honored to be your sister and to share and stay with you and inspire me to be closer to God. Even though I may not say it, you are my role model. I will continue to pray for you every day and for your relationship and your marriage. James, you've made my sister the happiest woman ever, and I will forever thank you and God for such a special unity. All that I vow and promise to you today as your wife, I do so with ease. I commit and submit to you as my husband with absolutely no doubt that I will forever be happy in your arms and by your side. I thank Jesus for giving me you, James, the King James Version of my life, and now my husband. Well, now I know, and I still can't believe it's real. But I'm in, I'm all in, and I'm all yours. My friend, my bride, my wife, and my queen. I love you, Nikita. Nikita and James, I do by virtue of the authority vested in me, pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, James, you may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs>